Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mind Right Botanicals. Please continue to like the content on this page. Share this content if you feel the want or need to do so. And also, feel free to book with me at watamommy.com. And let's see what's up with the King of Pentacles energy. Let's see what's up with King of Pentacles as a whole messages for my king of pentacles collective or you could be dealing with a king of pentacles earth sign energy taurus virgo capricorn holy spirit happy birthday to any tauruses that are celebrating out there today what are the collective messages surrounding king of pentacles earth sign energy holy spirit the masculine energy in the tarot deck for pentacle earth signs Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Holy Spirit, what is it that we need to know from you through me at this time, please, and thank you. Eight of Pentacles, straight out the gate. There is a masculine who's working on himself. The card says skill development, diligence, perfectionism, repetitive task. So there's a masculine who's currently in the Eight of Pentacles. He's trying to get his life acclimated. Okay, he's trying to adjust to life, find balance. He may have a lot on his plate right now, but he's being productive. And there's a Nine of Pentacles in his life, Virgo energy. He could be a Virgo, she could be a Virgo. I'm really getting that they both Virgos. Virgo is prominently placed in a way in both of these people's charts that they have connected. I feel like he's trying to balance his personal responsibilities with this nine of pentacles and he's trying to figure out how to do it. Figure out if she's worth it. Okay? Figure out if he's trying to if he's actually restricting himself and making his life harder by being with her okay is this somebody that he need to pull back from is it too much because he's got these goals on one hand he got his goals he's got this eight of pentacles energy that he is heavily invested in whatever that entails and then on his other hand he's got this nine of pentacles who he really likes and feels is the ideal love choice, the person that if he was going to partner with anybody, she'd be it, okay? But this man doesn't want her to get in, in the way of what he's currently trying to achieve in his life. But I'm telling you, he know that she wifey now. But he also, I feel possibly was investing in something else before Wifey came along, okay? This Eight of Pentacles to me is just the type of life this man wants. He's personal goals, professional goals, maybe even entrepreneurial goals, okay? That's what I'm getting. I ain't really picking up that it's another woman here. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I'm going to cut the deck because I did see King of Cups. But I feel like his, his reluctance... This feeling that he's getting that maybe he need to pull back. I think it's because he had other goals that he was trying to pursue before he met this Virgo, Nine of Pentacles. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Is it another woman that's making him wonder what he need to do? That flipped in reverse. Son in reverse. No. It's really that this man had a goal in mind. He was on a mission. He's afraid of failure, cancel plans, some sort of negativity. He doesn't want anything to get him in the way of what he's currently trying to pursue for his life. So if that means he needs to move on to calmer waters to avoid some sort of karmic codependent partnership, then that's what he's going to do. Somebody could also have Capricorn somewhere prominently in their chart. Okay, he's not going to get locked into 
anything that may turn toxic down the line, anything that may cause a downfall for him. He on a mission, honey. I'm trying to tell you. Chariot to the Knight of Wands. He's very driven. Very optimistic that if he keeps doing what he's doing, it's going to work out for him. And he just doesn't want anything to ruin that. And she may seem like wife material, but he don't know. That's what I'm getting off this King of Pentacles, okay? He don't know. So what, what is the apprehension? Because he's in the hermit. He's been trying to figure her out. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Queen of Wands. He thinks that she is not as grounded as she may appear to be. He thinks that she's got a wild streak to her. I'm telling you, he's been observing the fuck out this, this divine feminine. Because it's giving divine feminine now. Okay? He might think that she will end up having him in the sun in reverse. But she really is his ideal love choice. Okay? You know, what he what he think can happen with her, that could very well happen if he invests the proper effort into her as well. If he puts an Eight of Pentacles effort into his partnership with this Divine Feminine, he is going to win. Okay? If anything, she's going to help him achieve his goals faster by being that supportive divine partner that helps us be even more goal-oriented, goal helps us be even more successful, more prosperous, more abundant. If you're with the right person, what you've been trying to work and achieve will come in with a lot more vigor, with a better result, okay? That's what he needs to understand about this person that he's met, that what he see is what he get. It ain't no mystery to her. She possibly does have a independent streak. I mean, she's out here as a nine of pentacles, but you know, we all had to grow and evolve to get to where we are today. So this queen of wands energy is just given that she's learned some lessons. She's had to have courage and fight some battles on her own, but she's evolved into the woman that she now is. She got character now. But he got to come to that conclusion. I can see it. She can know who she is. Others can even remark to this masculine and be like, yeah, that's somebody you need to definitely give to and receive from. This is somebody you definitely need to share your wealth with. 808. It may be something about money here as well. Okay. That he not quite sure if she the one, but I don't know what what type of doubt he looking for. Because it ain't out here. I don't Queen of Swords. I don't know why he feel like she not the truth and that he shouldn't pursue life with her. See what it could be. But there may be somebody, Queen of Cups. Now, she out here is all four queens now. She out here is all four queens. So whatever this doubt is that he has about partnering with her, she's every woman for this man. That's what that's saying to me. She, she feels, she checks off all his boxes. She can fulfill all his wants and needs. This is how he feels. I don't think he wants to admit it to himself because I'm telling you, this man was in a routine. He was following a certain plan with this Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and she got thrown out there to him as an option for his life that was unexpected. But he can't deny who she is. He can be pessimistic with this sun in reverse. But he know the truth about this woman. Okay, so I'm really picking up on a masculine. One of y'all is dealing with a king of pentacles. He coming out here as the eight of pentacles, though, because he not bossing up. 
He not bossing up for you. He know exactly who you are. I ain't saying he ain't treating you right, but he's not giving you the title that you deserve. And it's like he feels like you're going to be some sort of hiccup or hindrance if he go ahead and say, yes, you are my woman. I'm your man. But he knows that that's not true. He knows that you won't cause any endings in his life. He know the truth about you, child. Child. So what's going to be the outcome of this, Holy Spirit? Because see, what I'm picking up on is whoever you are, you have evolved into a divine feminine. Okay, you know that if anybody get with you moving forward, they're going to get justice. One plus one is two. Their life will be balanced if they're with you. You know they're going to win. You know they're going to get good karma because you know what type of woman you are. Okay, you ain't out here as all four queens the nine of pentacles and the lovers for nothing, okay? So what's going to end up happening is if this man don't give you what you deserve, which is a four of wands, two of, two of cups, page of wands, the universe is going to allow you to pass judgment on this situation and move on to someone who will. What one man won't do, another will. Now, what I'm getting off this masculine is he got the potential to be all four kings to your four queens, but he do got some work to do. I think he feel like maybe he's more advanced than you are, but he's not. You've, you've gone further in your journey than, you, than he's been, he's went on his, I'm telling you. And it's some energy like he think he's, mastered more than you have but he really hasn't and he's gonna awaken to that when your ass be like oh well okay you feeling and thinking and assuming all of this about me then i must need to go celebrate with somebody else and get a love offer from them if, if you can't see that i'm every woman and it's all in me i must need to eight of cups your ass See, that's what I'm starting to pick up here. Because you ain't came out here as the empress. And I did see the empress when I had cut the deck a few minutes ago. It was on the bottom and I could have pulled it. But he ain't want to give you the title that you deserve. Okay? Now, if he ain't got where you at in life, that's cool. But you obviously were willing to... Accompany, accompany him along the way, support him along the way, because you felt like he was an ideal love choice too, but he ain't the only love choice. Okay, because see, you didn't been down the road of helping people and trying to be there for them and support them on their journey only to be eight of cups yourself when it's all said and done. So if somebody is showing you that they're going to be on a selfish route and ultimately be worried about themselves and what they feel and what they think and what they need and what they want. That's not somebody that you will partner with. Okay. You want a 10 of Pentacles and you did feel as if you could have a 10 of Pentacles with this eight of Pentacles, but you see, he ain't hit the table as no masculine form yet. Because he want to place some sort of low vibrational energy on the connection. And I'm telling you, he going to be, he going to miss out now. King of Swords. Because see, when you cut his ass for trying to play you, when you pass judgment on him for trying to assume that you some sort of codependent crutch that's going to ruin his dreams, he going to wish he would have reevaluate the situation differently with this two of pentacles knight of pentacles i'm telling you he gonna wish he would have thought thought about it a little bit better when he was at that crossroads energy trying to decide what he should do about you because baby you a blessing okay you a blessing now and if this man can't recognize that the universe is blessing him with you then the universe will allow you to be a blessing to somebody else.
The universe will allow you to go in a different direction. Seek a new path and adventure in life with another. If he's not willing to understand, accept, and execute the assignment, the universe will break, walk your ass right into another divine counterpart. Okay? That's the message here. So I don't know who listening. I feel like the divine feminine is listening. And you was wondering about this king of pentacles now. Look. And the future that you could have with him. But it's starting to be some sort of iffiness. It's, it's starting to be some sort of confusion. Because he trying to figure out if you really are who he need to be with. But I'm telling you, he's shooting himself in, the own, in his own damn foot. And he will figure that out down the line if you disconnect from him because he was trying to play you now. Like you ain't that. Because the universe knows that you are exactly that. That's why this emperor came out behind the fool after you walked away from what didn't serve you. Okay, so if he don't want to serve you what you deserve, somebody else will. It's really giving what won't what one won't do, another one will. And you really like this King of Pentacles. You do. You want to be with this man. You do feel like you and him could have a Ten of Pentacles partnership, a Ten of Cups in the future. But if he's not sure about you, you're not going to waste no time trying to keep no man that don't know if he want to be kept. And you're not going to waste no time trying to convince no man that you a divine feminine. You ain't going to try to convince nobody of nothing that you know they already know. He know that shit. That's why you out here like that and all this energy. He know who you are. He don't really want to admit it to himself because I do feel that that's going to make him insecure because he knows he's not where you are. So having this mindset that maybe you're going to be a setback, no boo. Maybe you need to elevate your mindset because he's supposed to be evolving into this Emperor King of Pentacles for you. You're his divine counterpart and he's your divine counterpart. But like I tell people, we can get more than one divine counterpart, especially when somebody don't want to act right. The universe is not going to let you be out here fucked up by yourself. Can't need no type of companion, friend, or soulmate who going to be right to you. It, it's really, it's not like that, y'all. Okay? You going to eventually meet somebody who rock with you. And you can rock with them back. Whether you marry them or not. Whether you partner with them or not. They could be, end up just being your friend. But some people's friendships are more valuable to them than family, okay? They spend more time with friends and associates and companions than they do with their own blood relatives. So, you know, it just depends on the person. It depends on their energy towards you and how y'all interact at the end of the day. So I just don't want nobody to think that just because you meet somebody and you really like them and you really are into them that they're the end all to be all. It's just too many people out here in this world for you to assume that. And whoever I'm talking to, I think you you know that. You've gotten to that point in your life. So you want to give this man a chance. You see the potential and the connection, but you're not going to allow him to drag you. You're not going to allow him to string you along. Or even make you feel like you haven't done the work that you've already done. Because you've done a lot of work to be out here the way that you are. Okay? So, final messages, Holy Spirit. What are the final oracle messages surrounding this energy that has hit the table so far, Holy Spirit? What do we need to know? Please and thank you. Because I, I ain't even picking up on another woman. It ain't even no another woman, yo. That's making this man feel like you're going to halt something in his life. But Medusa energy then came out here in reverse because you're not going to halt anything in his life. You're not going to dry up anything for him. 
Okay, you're you're not an issue, you're not a problem, you're not codependent, you're not toxic, you're not a issue. You it's like maybe he didn't deal with women like that. That all the women he probably didn't deal with was like that. They was guilty of that behavior. So maybe he feels like you would be guilty of that behavior if he did marry you. Because I'm telling you, it's something like he know you wifey. He know you wife material. If he was going to marry somebody, he would marry somebody like you. Okay? But it's that insecurity. It's that apprehension and that reluctance. That I'm also picking up on. We have your parents are karmics. Your spirituality is organic. I'm not sure what all you have shared about your life with this man. I'm not sure what all you testified to him about what you experienced and what you went through to get to where you are. Okay, but I do feel like you faced some battles. And you overcame those battles, whatever you faced during your childhood. And it's obvious that you haven't been tainted, that you are authentic, that your spirituality is organic, that you are who you say you are, who you present yourself to be. But it's like this man do want you to, it's like he want you to be for the streets. He wants you to be. Like you gaming him, like you trying to get over on him, like you want to lock him down only to become some sort of terror once you and him have committed to each other. We have Aries. But baby, you ain't for the streets. You for an emperor though. And the universe is gone. It's really giving whoever I'm picking up on. Okay. Let him not act right. If he don't want to act right, just, you know, I don't care how much you like him. I don't care how much, how much you see could be between you and him. If this man act like he don't know if he need to really fuck with you, don't even fuck with him like that. Because I'm telling you, whoever you are, you have done so much work on yourself that you are almost guaranteed an emperor by the universe. You are almost guaranteed an emperor, king of pentacles, ten of cups. So if he don't want to do it, I'm telling you, the universe is going to reroute you with this full energy to an emperor who will. You ain't never going to have to be for the streets. Okay? You ain't never going to be the other woman. Maybe you've been for the streets and maybe you've been the other woman in the past, but that's not your future. So again, if this masculine can't see what's been given to him and placed before him, another emperor will. I promise you that. Because baby, I'm telling you right now, this is your type of vibe. He going to be in the five of cups wishing he would have never tried to play you like you was some bust down, like you was for the streets. Okay? Like you was going to somehow end up causing some sort of loss and misfortune for him. If he feel that way, you don't need to fuck with him. Confusion spells, because that's also what it's giving. And it ain't no telling who he was messing with or who he used to mess with that don't want him to see the potential he could have with another woman. They want him to be fucked up in the head about anybody that he meets in the future because they wasn't worth a damn. We have, they want you to heal them. But this man know, I'm telling you, this man know that you are a divine feminine, okay? He can keep tricking himself like you hiding something or you really are in some old other energy and you gonna flip on him or whatever the fuck he wanna think. Let him think that shit. Because we not in the business of keeping nobody that don't want to be kept collective, okay? No, divine feminists ain't in the business of keeping nobody that don't want to be kept 2444. So if there's somebody who feels like you might be a problem or you are a problem potentially, 
going to be a problem for somebody else then. Don't fuck with them. Because, see, you're prosperous. You're not a problem. You're prosperity. Okay? You bring love, light, joy, and abundance to people's lives. That's not what a karmic energy do. So he want to put you in the box of people he used to date. I'm telling you, it's somebody that he used to date most recently. That is everything that he trying to project onto you. And he feels some type of way that he got caught up with that person. But that ain't got shit to do with you. Okay, God forgive him. He need to forgive himself for letting a karmic energy in his past get him like they got him. Because I'm telling you, that's what it's about. And it is something to do with money as well. You ain't no gold digger. It's like he think you trying to present some sort of image or facade about who you are. And as soon as he say, yes, I want to be with you, I want to marry you. Look, it's a trick of the devil. That's what he think. He think it's a trick of the devil that you that you too good to be true. And as soon as he lock, lock it down with you or he commit to you or marry you or whatever he want to do, that you're going to flip on him. That's what he think his animal instincts are telling him. But there is a third party that may be fucking with this man's psyche because they don't want him to step into his divine connection and his divine purpose. They were trauma bonding with this masculine, but he realized that it was not love and he moved on with his life. Okay. So now he he's skeptical about you, but there may be an underlying reason for that. Clarify Holy Spirit and then we gonna close. There may be a, a third party ex of this King of Pentacles who don't want him to move on with nobody who wants him to think that every woman is a potential problem if he partners with her. He don't like it's like no matter how good they look, no matter what they got going on, no matter how well put together they are inside and out. It's like he just know they're going to flip on him and there may be somebody who is making him do that. Let me get another deck. Let me get another deck because that ain't enough cards. That ain't enough cards, Holy Spirit. This is though. Who, who is this it, Who is this energy I'm picking up on that's possibly doing confusion spells on this masculine to make him think that he should not boss up for this divine feminine Holy Spirit? This, can you clarify this confusion spell energy, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. One more shuffle. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about that, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. From you through me at this time. Mm -mm. Four of swords, three of wands. There is somebody affecting this man's mindset, trying to confuse him, confuse his thoughts and what he know to be true about you. It could be an Aquarius. There is somebody doing something though. Trying to make him be uncertain about every woman he meet moving forward so that he won't partner up with nobody because he didn't partner up, he didn't stay partner with them. So he they want him to think that every partnership he get into now with this two of cups is really a knight of wands devil energy. That's gonna cause him some sort of struggle. Some sort of obstacle moving forward that he's going to have to push through and persevere in the future. I'm telling you, this person, whoever this star energy is that's messing with this man's psyche, they got fire somewhere prominently in their chart as well. Leo, I don't think this man knows this woman to be a Leo. But he cut them off. Look at here. He cut them off too. King of Swords. This was a Queen of Swords. This is a Queen of Swords, Leo energy. 
but he cut them off too because like i said he he decided that he was on a mission and he blocked them he don't even talk to this person king of swords chariot hangman eight of cups he decided that he wanted to go in a different direction in his life and he sacrificed this star leo energy this aquarius leo i'm telling you he don't know this person as no leo they're using their leo energy their fire energy to spiritually attack him, to confuse his mind about any woman he meets moving forward. And I'm telling you, the universe re rerouted him from a karmic to meet this divine feminine, i.e. you, whoever you are in the collective. And he about to block his blessings because what this is telling me is that if this ex's magic is still working on him, there's either some sort of karmic codependent tied to that person or there's something that there's more work he needs to do. I'm telling you, he and he know he need to work on himself. It's not like he don't know that. But he should re, he should check himself too as to why the Most High would put a divine feminine in your face just for her to be a fraud. That don't even make sense. Something in the milk ain't clean. And it's this ex-lover that he was dealing with that he now has on block. He don't even talk to this person. But they're doing confusion spells on this King of Pentacles. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Because he got mental clarity about them. And who they were. And he halted the connection between the two of them. So she's trying to keep him in some sort of limbo, stalemate energy about everybody else that he date, including you, Queen of Pentacles. Because I'm telling you, this man know he like, this. if I'm going to marry anybody, it's going to be her. But then in the same breath, he feel like he going to be left in regret if he do so. And that's a trick of the devil. You ain't the trick of the devil. His mind playing tricks on him. Any final messages? Three of swords. And he gonna be heartbroken. He gonna be heartbroken now. Because this Aquarius that he used to deal with is watching to see if he's gonna boss up for anybody and get in a union. She waiting to see if her spell work is working. She waiting to see if he gonna forfeit his divine blessing. Mm, mm, mm. So, you know, again, the universe is not gonna make you have to sit and wait on somebody to decide if you are on the up and up. If they can't see that you on the up and up, that you are a divine feminine that's going to do right by them and that they should do right by in return, the universe is not going to make you waste weeks, months, years with nobody who not sure about you. The universe will reroute you with this fool energy to celebrate with somebody else and they will be an emperor as well, okay? So, you know, this man going to have to decide this. I'm telling look, I'm telling you, the universe not going to let you have to be out here trying to struggle love with nobody who ain't sure about you. If this king of pentacles ain't sure that he want to be with you, the universe is going to take action for somebody else to. OK, and I'm dropping the mic. I'm telling you now. This Virgo, this Virgo about to fuck up. He about to fuck it up now. That's what I'm hearing. Because you are that bitch. Look, you that bitch now. So he can act crazy if he... Shit, he can act crazy if he want to. You done came out here again. Three queens. All four queens in the second deck. And you ain't... You ain't that. You ain't worthy it's almost as if the universe has sent him you to help him hurry up and get what he's trying to get out of life if he want to get it quicker 
But if he want to bullshit and act like you going to be a problem and you going to hold him back and all this bullshit, well, then the Holy Spirit will give you the sun and justice with somebody damn else. Okay? And I'm dropping the mic because ain't nobody got time, y'all. Ain't nobody got time. You trying to love and do right by somebody and treat them right and, and show them how much you care for them and appreciate them and they want to try to assume that you going to fuck their life up or throw them off course when the universe has sent you in their life to help them get where they trying to go. If they can't see that, they ain't ready for you. And the universe will allow you to align with somebody who is. But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.